in the recruiting process, when we evaluated him, I mean, I, I knew that if he got bigger, he was going to be a down lineman, and he was built like he would get big. He's, he's 275 right now. And uh, so uh, he grew up, and he made a change, and it's the best thing for him. And hopefully he'll have a chance to further his career in football because he made that change. And his quickness at linebacker, has that been a real factor? In oh, he's quick. And Melvin's quick, he's fast. He's, it, it, again, because he's got such a late start at being a lineman, he, uh, he has to stay on top of his fundamentals all the time. And when he does that, he plays well. So, I mean, he's had a good season. He really has. What's Trey being done for you this year? He's, uh, the last several weeks, really, that three of the four last, uh, three of the last four weeks, where, I mean, he stepped up really quite, you know, like an anchor has to inside. Yeah, that's a good thing. Really Which is essentially don't move, hold your ground. Is that is that kind well, of what he's I, I use the term hold the point. Yeah. And he's done a good job of that. And he's and he's, and Travian knows that get off blocks and make plays. And uh, because of that, inside, it's not always easy to get off. Uh, Kelsey learned that this past Saturday. There was a play in Florida where number 64 for them blocked on him. And in, in high school, a lot of times you just let go of a guy, he'll let go of you too. <laughs> And that didn't happen in college football. You know, we're playing big boy football here is what I tell them. In big boy football, you got you got to get rid of them because they're not going to just let you go. He got hammered up ground for the good because of them. It feels like every time I look out there, you're rotating a ton of defensive linemen, but Travian stays out there more than anybody just to, it seems out of the corner of my eye. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah that's confidence. Yeah. You know, right. I have confidence. I mean, he's played a lot of ball. He understands the game and does a good job. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's a – 50 year tour player out there playing inside. A lot of times with a bunch of young kids. And you definitely get lined up and do the right Brad Ellis mentioned last week that he wanted to see your two inside guys get more pressure, get get off blocks better as yeah. you and, and, see some of that. You know, again, we didn't versus Arkansas. And, uh, and that was you know, very worrisome. And, and those guys, they've got to give you push up inside. And your end's got to, you know, be the guys coming off the edge and make things happen. And uh Travian does a good job. He's got a good bull rush, good power rush. But we got to you know, keep getting better at that stuff. And that's just, uh, you know, weight room maturity. Did you see some improvement in the area, in that area against yeah, Florida? Yeah, we did. I thought we affected the quarterback most of the day. And again, I use that term a lot, affect the quarterback. You know, sacks are great. I love them. But affecting the quarterback is the deal. I think there's been one game this year we did not affect the quarterback, and that was Arkansas. I think every other game we played, we affect the quarterback. It, and that's, that's been a positive. Is Clowney maybe exceed expectations right where you thought he would be? Or? Stuff where he's leading the SEC in fumble scalls. And, uh, I mean, he still leaves a lot of plays on the field. Like Saturday, Melvin hit a guy with a wheel move, and, and Clowney just stays outside. Melvin's either going to get sacked or the guy's going to flush Clowney, and he's going to get sacked. But he jumped inside because of it. The quarterback was able to drift and threw the ball away. Travian in the pressure of the guy and threw it out of bounds. But that could have been a sack, a big tackle for loss right there. And that's just experience, understanding scheme of defense. When you bring a pressure, you've got to know where it's coming from so that, you know, if, if I stay where I'm, I need to be, that quarterback may flush to me. You know, instead of getting kind of greedy, you know, jump inside, go try to make something happen, and all of a sudden, all heck, it's, you know, it's outside of me. That's, that's experience. But as far as exceeding expectations, he, he's meeting expectations right now. I mean, I, I expected a lot out of him, you know, when he got here. So, I mean, he's, he's meeting expectations, but he's got so much room for improvement. And as his practice habits improve, he's going to improve and make more plays and keep getting better and better and better. So, I mean, he's he's just touching the surface right now. As a coach, how much does it kind of excite you to see a guy you know you're going to have for two more years show what he's shown you this year and know that there's still, as you just said, there's still a the oh, way I mean, up there? It's, it's very exciting because, you know, as he learns to, to practice cons consistently day to day to day, he's going to keep getting better. And he still hasn't learned how to do that like he needs to. I mean, he'll have a good day of practice, sometimes a not so good day. But when you, know, you, you learn to, to apply your trade day in, day out, the entire time you're out here, that's when you really make big jumps, you know, and, and improve. Is Joe just uh, back to the D-line full time or is he still with Montana? He is right now. You know, I mean, they weren't really using him on, on offense. No, it wasn't, yeah. And they were so using him. Full time so, right so he just he said, hey, I'm going to come back deep. I said, sure, you know. So, and he's done some good stuff for us on the goal line. You know, he, of course, he, he's, yeah. he missed two tackles Saturday down on the goal line. We, we got him freed up, and he had two opportunities to make tackles. So, you know, he's got to make those plays.
Now it's back to the, to the back to the triple option. Defen mm -hmm. Defensive lineman's favorite favorite offense, right? It's a, you know <laughs> when you defend the option. I told somebody today. I said I, I think I drew 50 cards today, this morning, and yesterday, getting ready for this practice. And I said the option. It, it makes my head hurt, yep. and it's just it's it's tough. It's gr it's a grind. It's about discipline. You change your pace as far as what's going on and uh, play two option teams in the same season. That's, you know, it's tough. But, and, does, but and, does that put you ahead of the game?